नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल येस्टडे आई सैट हियर इन दिस चेयर एंड स्पोक अबाउट हाउ रेडिकुलस इट इज दैट जस्टिन ट्रूडो द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ कैनेडा कैन नॉट कंट्रोल पीपल अब्यूजिंग इंडियन हिंदूज एंड यू नो थ्रेटनिंग इंडियन हिंदूज आई क्वेश्चन दैट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑनेस्टली टूडे आई फील अशेम्ड आई फील अशेम बिकॉज something that happened in my parliament in my country this man called ramesh biduri a bharatiya janata party mp stood there inside the temple of democracy that is the parliament house and abused a fellow muslim mp abused my prime minister couldn't stop him either so i don't know uh, so i uh, i think i was i'm ashamed today that i have even had the at the gall to question a foreign prime minister when the same thing is happening in my country that's my topic uh, number 1 my topic number 2 is uh, you see we haven't paid our mandrega for some children mid day meal is all that they get in a day and i want to talk to you about mid day meal where close to 700 kids are hospitalized were hospitalized some of them are hospitalized in the last one year because of lizards and uh, and contamination in mid day meal how how easy we take indian lives especially that of our children let's get right into the show so like i said uh, ramesh biduri of uh, the bharatiya janata party hurled anti muslim slurs on fellow mp danish ali from uh, i think bahujan samaj party was hurling anti muslim slurs right in the parliament hear this out hear this out ye kyon le rahe modi saab sire bhi le rahe sire le rahe hain desh ke vyajan रंजन जी अधी रंजन जी अभी you know uh, i have no words to say and, and 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 i have to say i'm ashamed of myself i'm a, i'm ashamed of myself is because like i told you i was questioning justin trudeau and i was actually quite uh, upset when people said you know it happens in india also i said listen you know what i have always been talking about water battery when it comes to uh, a lot of right wing propaganda i have always been talking about water battery because it is it's quite normal for a for a, a lot of my trolls to say what about uh, in congress era what about in so and so era what about in so and so era so i was i was kind of taking this too as water battery because i wanted to kind of be uh, when i look at an issue i wanted to look at it unbiased so well when people ask me you know it happens in india also they they do a lot of uh, uh, threat uh, to muslim uh, community in india also i took it as what about re and i was questioning justin trudeau i was questioning justin trudeau when uh, those khalistani extremists were standing there and threatening uh, indians and hindus uh, in canada i was i thought what what is the prime minister doing there but uh, today i have to put my head down in shame because that happened in my parliament an mp stood in my parliament and he hurled abuses at a muslim mp 
no speaker intervened and suspended him or no uh, case has been registered against him of course it cannot be because he said that inside the parliament house so but the process uh, there are processes for that but nothing really happened he said it and possibly he, he will get away like a lot of people who got away when they celebrated uh, Naturam Godse's uh, whatever birthday or death anniversary or whatever when they when they said Naturam Godse what a patriot they, they got away Likewise, these people also will get away. These people also will get away. So what am I talking about? What am I talking about other countries? This is happening in my country. It happened in my country yesterday. Sad. That's all I will say. Let's get into our next topic. This topic doesn't deserve more time than this. Let's get into the next topic. You know, sometimes I wonder, are we children of lesser God? Are we really children of lesser God? Do, don't our lives matter? Our children, don't their lives matter? For these politicians, for these people who are sitting in power, don't lives matter? They don't even talk about it. There is no discussion. There is no discussion about this in the parliament. How many of your mainland channels or your favorite television channels have talked about this? And that's the point I want to ask today. Do you know that this is on May 19, 2023, 36 students fell sick after lizard was found in their midday meals at a government school in Bihar. Did you know this? I will tell you more. 23 students fell ill after midday meals in Andhra Pradesh in Palnadu district. This was on 3rd of March 2023. I will tell you more. 135 kids fell ill after a snake was found in Bihar and a lizard in West Bengal. On this news is of 27th May 2023. I will tell you more. 70 students hospitalized after consumption of midday meal in Delhi government school. This was on 25th of August 2023. 70 students. I will tell you more. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous, but yeah, 50 students fall sick after consuming midday meals uh, when chameleon was found in their food. This happened again in Bihar. 123 students fall sick after eating contaminated midday meal in Karnataka. This happened July 22nd, 2023. 14 children fall sick after eating midday meals in government school in Chhattisgarh, Korba. 25th July 2023, over 100 students uh, in Bihar hospitalized after eating sore midday meal. Uh, this is the third incident in the week, they say. This is on the 1st of June 2023. In yet another incident of poor midday meals being served in school, around 150 children were hospitalized. This is on June 2nd, 2023. 45 students fall sick. Four admitted to ICU after dead lizard found in midday meal in Supaul. This is again in Bihar, May 31st, 2023. This is, this is what I could find out in my research. I am sure if I dig deep, I will get much more. And I am sure a lot of these hospitalizations may not even be reported. And you know what is the standard uh, uh, response? The standard response is it doesn't even go to a minister and all that because child going to hospital, finding lizard in the food and all is so small. So an SDM, a subdivisional magistrate, uh, like for instance, this happened in Bihar, for instance, Sanjay Kumar Rai reached out to the hospital to find the condition of the students. And he said, listen, I'm going to suspend. I'm going to suspend the people who served food. I'm going to suspend the food contractor. Bus, that's it. Suspend the food contractor. What about your staff? What about himself? Is he not responsible? A subdivision magistrate? What is he handling the country? Hey, I'll, I'll suspend the contractor. That's it. I need end of story. He must have gone to his house and relaxed. You see, the point is, we are not made aware of this. Number one. Number two is, even if we are made aware of this, we don't react to this. And because we don't react to this, more and more children are getting hospitalized tomorrow. Some of these kids may die. Our kids, Indian kids, the same country which hosted G20 summit, remember? 4,100 crores, same country, same country this is happening. Lizard found in food. When we talk about 2India, this is what 2India is. 
One India where you are spending 4,100 crore for an event for two days and you are serving whatever 100 crores meal and you are having the best of things happening around the best of decorations and the best of event and here children are dying because they find lizards and snake in their food. It is not even spoken in the, in the parliament. There is no MP, there is no public representative even speaking in the parliament. Like I told you, media to khair, these are things that doesn't interest them. Hindu Muslim does. Hindu Muslim does. You see, before we go back and say that, you know, India progressing, India going ahead, India happening, India world power, India economic superpower, Think of those 36 students who are lying in the hospital. Think of those 170 students who are lying in the hospital. We cannot grow without we ensuring our basic facts like poverty, like hunger, like malnutrition, like our Mandrega payments, like our Mandrega payments, like taking care of our kids. Their midday meal, possibly the, like I told you, the only meal, because that's what some of the Mandrega activists said. The only meal that child gets is the midday meal which that the child eats in the school. I know of a lot of kids who are sent to school because they get midday meal. Else the parents would have made them work in the farm, but they are sent to school so that at least egg work ka toh unlo kha sakenge. They can eat for one, one uh, meal. And the unfortunate part is this is what they served. I want India to react to this. I want India to react to this. Because if we don't react to this, this is going to continue. And till such time that this continues, let me tell my viewers this. There is no development. There is no superpower. There is no Vishwaguru. There is nothing. We are the same because India is not our bedroom or our living room or our house. India is from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Every Indian is our responsibility. And till such time that every Indian has a decent life, nothing has grown. Nothing has developed. Few areas and few people developing doesn't make us developed. Because India has not developed. India is what it was. India is continuing to be what it is. Standing in line for food with a lizard in it. This is the point I wanted to make. Uh, do share this. I urge you, share this, uh, this information. Share this video. Because people need to know about this. Share this video if you can. Share this with as many people as you can. Because finally, till such time that we don't correct ourselves within, let's not even talk about others. Let's not even talk about other countries, other prime ministers, other economies, other uh, cultures. Let's not even talk about it. That's the point I wanted to make. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar. <laughs>